Hi guys, it's Carol. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is my post-Easter slash spring break floss tube update. I had a fantastic time with my kids around last week, and now that the house is empty again, it's almost a little too quiet. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff to get done, but nonetheless, it is now kind of weird. Like, I don't... Last week, the chaos on day one, I was like, ah, when do they go back to school? And then by the time the end of the week rolls around, I'm just like, oh, I love you guys. Why can't you be home all the time? And then you're back in school, and I'm, I'm sad they're not here. Anyway, um, the downside is I did not necessarily get as much done in the last 10 days as I wanted to. You're going to say, you say that every video, Carol. Okay. Brass tacks. I want to do like all the projects. I want to get them done right now. And I don't necessarily give myself enough time or credit for the time that I do put in. That's like a recurring theme here. So forgive me for having said I didn't get as much done. I thought that I was going to get further in my new starts than I did. But you know, when you're spending time with family, is it really a bad thing? I don't think so. Now, that said, I did get to most of the things that I thought I was going to over spring break, so that at least is a happy thing. So let's just go ahead and start with the first of my whips, and in this case it is Mirabilia's The Stargazer. And I had said in my last video that I was planning on finishing out her ribbons, and guess what? At least I did finish the hair ribbons. So here she is last time. is where we are today. I love this project so much. She's just fantastic. Everything about her is amazing. Um, so I have indeed finished these ribbons and started filling in the holes down on the ribbons that are attached to her backside. I don't know why she has ribbons on her butt. I'm sorry. Like I probably shouldn't say it like that, but just staring at the pattern that's what I'm thinking of right now. Anyway, I am um, really stoked. Basically, everything above her waist is done, with the exception of the beading. No, I'm just, there's a tons of beads up here. Not really worried about that. I just happy that she has a completion. That's it's important to me. So, I am hoping to come back to her, but probably not this week. But I did get to those ribbons that I've been trying to get done for the last month. So that is fantastic. So the piece that got the most time this week is Mirabilia's Autumn Queen, and this is what the pattern looks like. Here's where she was last time. Check out where she is today. I have really made progress on all this cloak right here. Added in some, almost trying to fill in from this side even put in a little bit of the whisper here. Isn't she gorgeous? I love this project. I love this one so much. She has just turned out to be an insane amount of fun. I don't... It's funny just because when I realized and started stitching how many of this is really like the dark brown and all the various bronze tones associated with, well, the cloak and then the whatever this edging is supposed to be. And so it's it's funny, I think of her as she's wearing purple, but so much of what you're really working in are yellows and browns, which are not my favorite to stitch, honestly, but look at how awesome she is. I heart this project so much. Like, every time I think, oh, I'm gonna work on something else, and I'm back on this one. So since my last video, she got picked up for, I don't actually write down, how many days I work on stuff. So when I say this, I'm half the time trying to remember. Um, I think it was four days. Some of them were really small, maybe a hundred stitches a day, but other days I was like really finding my groove and I am just stoked. I love this so much. I, I know the pattern's out of print. I know it's a pain in the butt to find, but I really, really recommend it. Now, those were my, you've seen before whips. 
I apparently got a bad case of stertoritis over the last week and a half, and I mean, I guess that falls in the realm of sorry, not sorry, but it means that they're not necessarily as far, like, I don't have a huge amount of progress. So I had shown this kit last time, it's called Start Doing, and I don't know why, I was, I guess it was, I was like, hey, I bought the kit, I was almost feeling a little bad about the, whether or not I'd like it or not. So I was like, you know what? Open it up. Start it. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, nothing bad, apparently. Um, so I have finished the word dreaming here. So it's stop dreaming and start doing. It'll go down here. This is a 14 count uh, Navy Ada. I have not stitched on a dark fabric in forever. I actually really like the effect of the white letters on the dark fabric. It suffers from kind of the same problem that you get like with Autumn Queen where I'm trying to do color DMC 3371 on white fabric where you're railroading to make sure you get as best coverage as possible. Well I'm now doing the same thing with this white on the navy and it's at some point gonna actually have like aqua blue around all this but for the moment I just I love how much the lettering stands out and the cool thing I will say that I discovered, because I said I wanted to do this because I was looking at some typography type charts, each letter completion is like, it's because it's an element that's finished, there's a lot of rewards, at least for me. So every single one I did, I was like, yes, this is awesome. I will say though, this kid has like, all of this is getting backstitched. Guys, don't leave backstitching to the end. If you, as soon as I get like, I won't do it now because I have to do X's next to it, but as soon as you have a spot where you can start putting the back stitching in, get it done. When I was a kid, I would wait until the very end, and then it's like a slog because some of the patterns I had when I was a kid, they were really back stitching intensive. And if you save it for the end, you're like, I'm done. The picture's there. No, do it as you go along. Just pro tip. Um, but this is, like I said, it's way more fun than I thought it would be, and... I don't know, I'm impressed, considering it was a $4 kit, like, this could have been way worse. Now, at least that start looks like something. My next starts, mmm, maybe not so much. So, it started with Fruit of Plenty, which is the Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along from 2021, and it started with January. It was the right answer. Like, I... I know I was like, oh, I really want to get to, well, I have, I measured everything from the upper left corner, so I had to start with January, whether I wanted to or not. So this is January, April is somewhere down here. I don't know if I will get down here before the end of the month. Oh, well, those are how it goes sometimes. So this is how far I have gotten to start. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm like trying to show the whole big piece. It's on a um, fat quarter of 40 count white vertical even weave, and I am using 3810 and 3808, and I don't remember which one is the dark and which one is the lighter one. I'm just telling you, this is the colors I'm using. It is super, super cool, and I really am enjoying the feel of the vertical under my hand. Um, it's 100% cotton. It... Um, when I searched, yeah, and I totally have red over here because that's what my searcher was threaded up with, but um, it didn't feed very evenly through the searcher, like from a machining standpoint. And I noticed because I got this from 123 Stitch and they searched there, I'd, theirs had kind of like the same problem. But as far as I put it on the ironing board today and just went over it really fast to try to get out some of the creasing, and it irons beautifully. I love it in hand, and I can see all the holes pretty well in good daylight. So, I mean, I was able to stitch in this with my contacts. It was actually easier with my contacts than with my glasses. So, I'll take that as a win. Um, obviously, so you can see, I'm just really, I am in this very upper left corner. Um, I am going to kind of preference coming down here. Basically the idea is to get to April and start working across and fill back in. Um, I know I said that I thought was really hoping to be able to get this one done in 2022. Okay, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to go ahead and give up and right now and say there is no way I'm going to get this done this year. 
that's okay, but I'd rather at least be up front with it now instead of trying to get in like halfway through the project and in November saying, yes, I can get it done if I do nothing else for four weeks, including like doing laundry and the dishes and all the, you know, the stuff the households actually need to run. They don't need me to do this, but I want to do this. So just saying right now, that's where I know I am. So uh, I had cut my one piece of even weave, and I was like, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, went ahead and started a family patchwork sampler, which was the Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along for 2020, and also started it. It's an even smaller start, so. Sorry, like, I have, I know, three starts, super awesome, but they are all super tiny if I can find the start to this one. Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. And this one is also on a landscape orientation, not a portrait. So I have done exactly one little square. It's uh, 17 by 17. Yup, awesome, go me. Um, so this is, oh, and go like, so I started, it's this motif all the way up here. And I was going to go down because I was much like the 2021 one. I was thinking, oh, I need to go down. The next one is getting into April is going to be under January. It's four pages across April's all the way over here. I could have just measured off and started in the upper right. But now, because I started in the upper left, I have to work all the way across to fine. I didn't think that went through. Straight up. It's fine. I mean... I don't care enough to rip out the stitches and start over from the upper right, like, it's just because it's April doesn't mean I have to do the April pattern. Anyway, so I started with January for both of them. Um, this one I am doing in, this is DMC 924, again, this is just a solid white. I love it. I think the color is, I'm, I'm glad I just kind of went and stood in front of the DMC display at Hobby Lobby and said, what's calling to me today? Um, because I just... I love it. I just love the color. I mean, I guess that's in the end, that's what one should do, is pick the things you love, because that's why we do our hobbies, right? That's what I think. So, even better, like, all of this, and I'm not even sure I'm going to touch any of these new starts next week. At all. Like, I was walking around today going, well, what do I want to stitch on? I mean, I don't want to say, like, oh, what am I going to have for next week's video? But I made that's my how I walk around. And it was funny, none of these, with the exception of Autumn Queen, were actually saying, please touch me next week. I'm getting ahead of myself. I actually forgot. I said I have a finish. And I'm so excited because I am ready to be done with this project. It is Country Cottage Needleworks Joyful Summer, and it is not fully finished yet. I was hoping for an FFO by Easter. It ended up just being a finished object on Easter. That's okay. The vision is here. I can see it. And I don't have any like quilting fabric hanging around to do the actual final finish with it. So that's okay. Now here's where it was last time. And here we go today. So I, I don't even like, I don't know what it is much to say. It's, it's done. Um, the big thing I discovered, I am terrible at French knots. I haven't done them for years. So um, I had to go look it up. The one, the first book I looked at did not give me good instructions and I kept basically just messing up the knot. Um, I ended up pulling I directions from a dimensions kit. They were, it was a better one. So um, I can't say that the tension is great on all of the knots, like some of them are a little, like this one up here is a little loopy. Whatever. Um, what I have figured out about this is it's just really not quite to my taste. It's adorable. I love, I love how it looks now that it is done, but it straddles a weird line in that it's not monochromatic. So it requires me to think about what color I'm messing with, but at the same time, it, there's not enough detail. So for
for these leaves, it's really depending on, like, any of the variation is being done by, well, the variegated threads. And so I kind of got a little tired of trying to just manage those to make them line up with how the, the leaf works. Although I am kind of proud with how I did. Like, this is super cute. And I was working, like, I kept all the lines on this along the long axis of the petals. Like, I put in the effort. It's just, they weren't necessarily what I would have picked if I were walking around trying to pick out a pattern. Yeah, that's it. My daughter thinks that this is absolutely adorable and it is going to be so fantastic once I get it done and up like on her door so she can have a little more decor. So I'm, like I said, really happy it's done. And isn't it cute? Like I said, just because it's not necessarily to my taste doesn't mean that I didn't in the end enjoy the finished product. So this is my first finish of the year. Hopefully it's not my last. Now, that said, what am I going to work on next week? And I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I should, like, have a really, really good plans. And I was like, no, I mean, after being really, really structured for March, I've been a little more loosey-goosey as far as what I feel like doing for April. But I was walking around and thinking, like, well, what do I want to work on? Because while I have deeply enjoyed Autumn Queen... I'm like, uh, she's got a lot of work on her, like, ready to maybe see something else. And then, I don't know, it's just kind of like, what's calling to me for this week? And it's basically not dealing with any of the new starts. At least I don't think. And if you see my new, those new starts again next week, it's because I changed my mind. I always reserve the right to change my mind. So what I was thinking of, with it being springtime, although it doesn't feel like it today because it's kind of cold and windy, but... I was thinking, dreaming of tulips. I have exactly one tulip in my garden, and it's, the petals are all gone. Sad. And they're my favorite flowers. So I thought this would be really cool. I have not touched it since May of 2020. I did, I think, a day and a half on it. It's a brand new start then. And I've done nothing with it. So I was like, this might be a good idea. So this is what it looks like right now. So you see, it's not a lot. Um, I don't, this is my first Rosewood Manor, so I honestly, um, just, it's really cute. I hadn't touched it in a while, so I thought, it was like, this one's talking to me, and it's like, please give me attention. Um, and that's actually how pretty much everything that I'm thinking I'm going to work on in the next week is the, I need attention. So this is going to become my travel stitching again, um, summertime coverlet, just because it is really nice and portable with the only one uh, fat or floss color. And also it's, since it's kind of a slow one for me to get done, I'm thinking it'd probably be a good idea to fish it back out. So this is what it presently looks like. And, I'm, like I said, it, it's going to become the travel stitching, so I think, I don't know if um, CCD picks up after church again next week or not, but I get travel stitching for me right now is about 45 minutes every Sunday, so that would be a piece to go back to. Um, my, I have, I'm not really big on the idea of focus on a finish because I have noticed if I pick a project and say, this is the one I'm going to get done, I become avoidant about it. It's almost like I don't like to finish things. I don't know why I don't like to finish things. Particularly when I already know what they are. Um, like I, said, I mean, we, we know what these are. Okay, and I'll even say it. So it's going to be a prairie, the Prairie Schoolers, a Prairie Garden. It's going to be my intended next finish. But if I say focus on it, I'll just never pick it up. Um, I know I'm the type of person I don't finish TV shows. I don't like to finish novels. Um, I don't finish video games. And I'm a completionist, so like video games literally never end. Ever. Um, but it's almost like the idea that if it's done, then I lose all the joy of continuing to work on it. I don't know. I like, I like having whips. I don't just love having finishes. But at the same time, once they're done, done, then I'm really happy that I did it. So it's very confusing. I don't know why I act like that. Anyway, so this one is, 
probably my next finish because I am trying to kind of catch up on again those 2019 goals um, if you want you can go back and watch the old video it's we'll call it potato quality that's what my kids call my cell phone and that's how old it is that I didn't even have a good camera um, but I want I've gotten the page finish I think I'm on track for finishing a Mirabilia so I don't actually remember what my other goals were but um, this one was definitely one of them so here's where it has been said last all this a couple weeks ago but I would like to just kind of go ahead and get it done I did find that I have this same fabric it is a 32 count white Belfast linen um, it's a little smaller than a fat quarter so I don't know if I trimmed it at some point because I thought I bought this as a fat quarter but apparently not um, but that way to get it done for so that I can start a prairie garden too because I would like to knock that out as well mostly because I bought them so I should make them um, this week though I think what I'm really going to be focusing on is Mirabilius, actually one and two, good, um, Royal Holiday, no it's just Royal Holiday, I don't know why I said a Royal Holiday, okay, Royal Holiday and Lady of the Mist, I started them back in March and they are both with just the teeny, I must say teeniest, uh, Lady of the Mist has almost no start on her and, let's see if I have the right one, like, that's it it's like 200 stitches um i want to make this at least look like something because this feels like more of it was a start for the sake of being a start and i don't know i'm just kind of feeling drawn to the colors so i want to touch pull her out um mess with her again this week and then for royal holiday it looks a little more like an actual piece as you can see, but I really just wanted to, in this case, I had done all these gold colors. Well, there's like red, like right here. I would like to get to the reds. That's kind of my thought process. So, and just to, so you can see, like I am literally working right here. So the red is right there. I want to get to the red. It, I saw a video, um, cat talks. Yeah, I was, I've been going through people's like old lost tubes it's great anyway so she was like had started around the same spot that I did and when she had the red I was like you know what that's what I need that would make the difference that I could put it aside until fall because it just I don't necessarily want to do like a huge amount of work on it right now because the colors to me do kind of scream fall and winter but I'm not happy with where it is for me to say yes let's go ahead and let it hibernate for a couple months so I don't know we'll go with that that's what I'm kind of thinking plans wise and again because I am not big on structuring what I'm working on that's just what I feel pulled towards right now if I try to plan any longer than a week it's a disaster so we just won't do that Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I, When I restarted doing these videos back in February, my intention was really kind of doing them just for me because it's really cool to be able to go back and see what I've done. But the fact that you guys have stopped by and said such lovely comments that you're wanting to come back and see me again, thank you so much. Like, it kind of does give me the warm fuzzies inside. I hope that you have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!